Hello folks and welcome. Pop OS 2204, a GNOME desktop. I'm going to be talking about LibreOffice and a dictionary. Adding a dictionary to your system is always uh, nice if you're using word processors to look up words and copying and pasting words. Uh, this dictionary that I have in mind that I'm about to show also has uh, pictures or photos on some things. And uh, I consider it a semi-visual dictionary. I'm also going to talk about LibreOffice and uh, extensions or templates to add on. And I'll briefly touch upon the database version also, which is not installed normally. So um, today I am going to also show you some interesting tips that you may not be aware of how to, well, using keyboard combinations to close any window in Pop! OS and also resizing text on the fly. Speaking of text, this is rather large right now. It's about to get smaller. So today I am filming in 1920 by 1080. The whole video will be played in 1920 by 1080. So you can hit pause or stop on your YouTube player and uh, click that gear symbol and adjust your video resolution accordingly because the text will start getting smaller a little bit here in a second. So Mary is our user for today. It's just a made up name. Sometimes I put different names on my videos for users. My video will be more than two minutes, uh, but it does have timelines and chapters. I do encourage that you subscribe, read my about section, and also go into the community tab and uh, investigate how to do keyword searches on my 125 plus videos. That tool was very popular with my previous channel when I had 450 videos. Anyways, folks, welcome. So now I'm going to close this box, or should I just use Alt F4? I think I'll use Alt F4. You can use that to close any window in Pop OS. Let's uh, head on over to Pop Shop and install a dictionary first before we talk about the uh, LibreOffice. So for our search criteria, I'm going to put in DICT. I'm looking for Golden Dictionary or Golden DICT. I am not going to use the installation key. I'm going to open this because I wanted to point this out. If you are fairly new to Linux in general or new to Pop! OS, some applications or programs have two versions. This particular one does. This one has a flat pack version and a Ubuntu Debian version. What is the difference? I'll take out a couple of seconds to explain that to some of you folks that do not know. So flat pack or flathub.org is where that comes from. It's normally larger in download size. It's software defined as running it in a sandbox to isolate it from your system kind of thing. But in general, to understand this quickly is this is just a larger installation. Okay, just wanted to point that out right off the bat. And some people use one over the other for different reasons. So anyways, I'm going to choose the Ubuntu side, which is only 42 megabytes versus the flat pack version was possibly up to a gigabyte. So far, so good. And sometimes your screenshots will change. So I'm going to install that. And our user for today again was Mary. It's just a made up name. I put in different users sometimes just to have some fun. And uh, more importantly, I'm waiting for the thing to finish the install. Still waiting. Okay, now it's done. So if you are needing to have the um, LibreOffice database version installed, just do a search for that for LibreOffice and install the database version. Okay, so it's uh, not that big of an install. But if you do need that, it's 53 0.4 megabytes, only one version. All right, I think um, I think I'm really not going to touch upon fonts or any of that. I'll talk about extensions and templates though, but I'm not going to do it from here. I'll do it when I open up LibreOffice in a second. This wallpaper came from wallpaperswide.com. I got it several years ago. If you're just curious, but anyways, I downloaded that off the internet. I'm sure you can maybe find it if you're interested. It's just a bunch of guys skateboarding on top of buildings. All right, just having some fun, folks. All right, I'm going to show applications and talk about Golden Dictionary. 
You can also pin that to the dash. Once you open this, this will produce an icon here on your top panel and it'll stay resident even after you close this. All right, so a couple of tricks that I'm about to show some of your older subscribers of mine know exactly what I'm about to do and some of your current ones do also. But for the ones that do not, I'll explain it. So you have several ways to resize text. You've got the plus or minus and the normal size. So you can click these things or you can just do it my way. So what am I doing here? I'm um, using a standard cheap USB based computer mouse with a squirrel wheel on it and using my keyboard combination of my control key and my computer scroll wheel, computer mouse scroll wheel. Depressing and holding down the control key while scrolling resizes text. For you folks that have touch pads, you may want to try this. Hold down your control key, keep holding it, and taking two fingers and slide them up and down on your touch pad for resizing text, similar to what I'm doing here. If not, use the old fashioned way. Click zoom in and out. A couple more tips for you. Um, instead of using the X in the corner, you can use Alt F4 to close this box and any other window in Linux and in, in, uh, in Pop OS. And it also works in many, many Linux distributions. Anyways, um, the resizer key for the plus and to the previous size, you can also double click on this imaginary line right underneath the box to do the same. Okay, just depends on what the last resizing was. It's the same thing as simulating this button here. Just an extra tip for you. Let's go find a word now. So I'm gonna use carpet. I've done a couple of these videos for different distributions for LibreOffice with a dictionary, and so I'm gonna use the same keyword. So um, I'm just gonna point out the fact that um, we have images in here. So I'm gonna resize the text on the fly instead of using the keys up here just to point out the facts that these are images or thumbnails in here. I know you can't read that, but I just wanted to let you see that it has a ton of images or, or pictures in here. Now I'm gonna resize the text back up. So you can uh, highlight the word, obviously, and whatever you're, else you're looking for, and then copy and paste those, or use Control C and paste those in your word processors, okay? You can also see information about etymology. What's the word mean, where'd it come from? Okay, that kind of thing. Now the cool thing about uh, using this particular tool is the fact that even if you close this or do an Alt F4, it doesn't matter. This will stay resident until you decide to close it. And that's a good thing if you're trying to open up a word processor and you're copying and pasting words back and forth, or I should say copying from here, pasting them into the word processor. It will stay here until you right click and hit quit. Let's put it that way. All right, so that's the Golden Dictionary. Now let's open up Office. I could open up the individual packages and keep in mind the database portion is not installed and it's not installed on default. So I'm gonna open up the main one here and talk about uh, whatever recent documents you have. You may have nothing or you may have a whole bunch of these things depending on if you've been using LibreOffice. So a lot of the information I'm going to be approaching from the standpoint of folks that have never used LibreOffice. For the ones that have, just be patient. Extensions. Templates. You need some additional templates. Some people like to make their own templates. Some people like to download templates. Let's head on over to extensions. Providing you have an internet signal, you're connected to the internet, you should be able to connect to extensions.libreoffice.org and pick your category. Lots of different options for you. So I'm going to click the Documents category and I'll pick a resume, for instance, and hit Download, and then you can save it appropriately. Now let's open up Office, um, sorry, Office, LibreOffice Writer. Still Office, but... So LibreOffice, by the way, is also available on Microsoft Windows and Macs. Just wanted to make mention of that if I haven't said so earlier. I'm going to misspell that word on purpose so you can have the spell check or activate and it'll give me a squiggly, red squiggly. So now it's taking a guess So what I'm using. I'm aiming for that word there, but I have some other choices also. I'll put in a couple of more letters or sentences or words and then I'm going to demonstrate the same thing that I did in your dictionary 
for resizing text in here. I could make a dinky too, to the point you can't even read that. Okay, is that good enough? All right, let's talk about the Save As. Again, this is for folks that have never used LibreOffice Writer. The Save As also has additional file types. ODT is default, OTT is another one. However, for the folks that want to save Microsoft equivalent, here is Office 365 doc C or doc X and doc doc for the Microsoft Word 97 through 2003. And there are some additional ones down here too for the save as or save. You have your font up here. You have your font sizes here. As you grow, you can also find help and you can also add fonts later on. There's all kinds of things you can do with LibreOffice. The best price for LibreOffice, it's free, unlike some other Office suites. So I could use Alt F4 to close this. It'll complain because I have some text in here, but I'll do it anyways. I'll show you when you hit the X, it's going to complain. Do you want to save it or not? You know, default is don't. Or I can use Alt F4 and it'll produce the same box. So even if you open up any application by mistake, I'll just use the same example of LibreOffice Writer. And if you didn't type anything and you needed to close down a window in a hurry, Alt F4. I think I hammered that point to, to the point of you're probably getting tired of that command. But more importantly, it does come in handy for so many things. Even if you're done with your web browser, Alt F4 is a little quicker than me aiming for that close button. All right, so let me do a recap here. So if you're wanting a dictionary, investigate downloading Golden Dictionary from PopShop. If you're needing some additional templates for your LibreOffice or other things for LibreOffice, investigate the extensions. And on that note, I will say thank you for watching, folks, and take care.